when I heard there was uh, a newly founded organization that wanted to make uh, an impact to fix that, to recruit extremely bright young people, I found it as really a great opportunity for me to contribute from my experiences and build a generation that will affect the changes much further that uh, I and my generation were able to. DHC has provided me uh, a very unique uh, foundation into becoming a well-grounded uh, public health professional. I actually benefited uh, massively from different uh, programs that Global Health Corps offers. Uh, I can say uh, DHC impacted me in a very uh, holistic way. To be a Global Health Corps fellow is working with young leaders who are passionate about health equity, who are committed to social justice, and also working with the people who have the same vision as yours, the young people. Being a GHC fellow means you have to keep pushing, finding solutions in order to improve the problems or the communities out there. It means being in a safe space where you are safeguarded in terms of health, in terms of um, your professional career and everything. So it's really a great place that ensures you have everything you need to grow professionally and personally. GXC has been really um, a great opportunity for me to understand what is it like to be a reader? What do you need? How do you navigate challenges? How do you respond to where you want to go? I saw GXC fellows and alums, uh, you know, reading and supporting some national and organization efforts in uh, de developing new initiatives to addressing, uh, you know, some critical gaps uh, in the pandemic. I would say my first project I worked on was digitizing uh, survey, health center survey systems. I would say it was intense, but uh, having the right guidance and supervision it, it allowed me to complete that and uh, I would say happily, like now, it's already in production. Uh, during the COVID period, we had uh, GS Fellows, G Global Health Corps Fellows, and uh, they helped us in managing uh, the uh, pandemic at that moment. And Rwanda was cited as a very good example in managing the pandemic skill set of people we need is high and uh, diverse. So over the years, GHC has been a supplier of young, dynamic, fresh and out of school graduates who are really um, very flexible and very knowledgeable of current trends and who add value in our programming. And we have benefited a lot from that uh, value addition, but also we've had a lot of GHC fellows who have remained to actually be employees of PIH. Having this access to different uh, uh, training opportunities helps the organization to also uh, develop our own internal skills. From these fellows, uh, they have been within the organization and we have worked together on different initiatives as well as some innovations actually starting let's say some programs uh, and we can see uh, really the impact to the rural communities we are serving. I've got an opportunity to be mentored uh, by different really top, top mentors, but also got an opportunity to um, you connect with different, you know, uh, GXC alums where I will be able to, you know, uh, get ideas from them, how I can again, navigate from challenges. It has helped me reflect on the skills that I have that I need to take more advantage of. So far, we have benefited from uh, the Global Health Corps. Uh, we uh, non-clinical staff fellows, and those fellows are very impactful. Investing in the leaders that would strengthen health systems is really a prerequisite, not just for having health people, but also 
for productivity and for booming business. I see that people are making like steps forward in finding like those problems in communities because they have been trained and those trainings I think they require some investment so I think it's a good investment in investing in those leaders so that they go back and try and find solutions. That if anybody cared about our shared journey as humanity to progress we need to support one another and the best way to do that is to invest in people that have the ability, that have the drive, that have the passion to work to resolve these difficult challenges and goals. Invest more in young leaders who are passionate and when we get the resources to implement the things that we are passionate about, we will live in a more equitable world. You know, investing efforts in young generation. So I call upon uh, different funders uh, to invest uh, in supporting young generation because their dollar will not be wasted. Yeah. We know the problems that we face and we are the first one that can contribute to solve them. And we are eager, we are passionate and everything that can be given to us, we will use it well and provide back to the community. Mm -hmm.